as long as i the self is the focus of my life i can't hear what god thinks of me what god does in me where god leads me to so we have to cut off all those these are not permanent ones that's why in the book of romans chapter 11 verse 18 and especially still second corinthian chapter 4 verse 18 it is written let not the temporary ones destroy that which is permanent in you that temporary what a b c d thing of you what is that for you that can be overcome only if the permanent one what a key thing about you now what is the plan of my founder for me that should not be your disturbance because the one who called you the lord who brought you into the world he has a plan and everything move according to his plan so the focus should be on the lord and his plan as long as see once we reach a state then we begin to think different way what do i become where am i going how will my life be what is my future these are the ways through which satan will drown our voice of god he will bring various noises and we become victim to those noises which are passing away we allow these noises to drown us so we can't hear the voice of god that's why the lord is crying he says my people are destroyed because they don't know ways of god why do they know don't know ways of god they are caught hold up various noises they are happy with that they are busy with that they are busy do you know what the father thinks about me do you know what am i becoming do you know where i am going what am i becoming i don't need to become anything i am already the child of god i am not here to become somebody i am here to celebrate what i am i am in the lord so the different noises drown the voice of god so that which is imperfection that which is passing away begins to rule that which is impermanent will rules that which is permanent and loses its noise man remains tensed broken wounded disturbed why the bible says in psalm 46 verse 10 be still and know that i am your god the moment you know that i am your god you become be still so you got to still the the whole focus of man the whole life of man is to still the noises of this world and to know that he is my god this is our journey this is our life learn to be calm down the noises around us and focus on him who is our god that's what the lord taught david he said be still learn to be still and know focus on me that i am your god if you focus on me as isaiah chapter 30 verse 20 to 22 says though you eat the bread of suffering in the world people may not accept you people may have lot of problem towards you it's okay though you eat the bread of suffering drink the water of persecution 
still you will hear your god speaking from within you my son my daughter this is the way walk in it and you will find life it is not what happens around you matters what happens within you because the law of nature is when outside there is so much of disturbance you can't go inside from out you can't go inside but from inside if there is calmness if there is power you can come out when you want to move inside the sea outside big big waves are coming and outside there is so much of disturbances with that you can't go inside the sea which is calm you will be caught up outside only when your mind is busy with hundred and one works of the world of what am i i i i you can't go inside the lord you will not know the lord that's why in isaiah 55 verse 8 jesus said my ways are not your ways because my thoughts are not your thoughts that's the key you are not holding on my thoughts so you don't understand my ways you don't understand my ways because you are holding on your ways your ways are different from my ways that's why i'm constantly i tell don't waste even 5 minutes keep the word constantly word but we want to be become somebody we want to work this thing we want to be a workaholic we want to do something we don't want to be to be we have to come to his presence sit to know god with his light to know ourselves here with our thinking we want to know god so from outside folk disturbance you can't go in from in you have to come out our life is not from out to in from in to out that is our life we have to be with him and then come out and see the world with his light we can't see what god does in us with the circumstances with the struggle we go through why am i going through this problem or hey, what god is doing why god is allowing you will not understand as long as you hold on to outside problem outside situation your disturbances with that you will never come to know god it is only through god you can come to understand what's happening to you so our life journey is not from outside to in but it is from inside to out everybody saw jesus so many sick people saw jesus but one man saw jesus differently that made a difference in his life you know a leper three important organs of the body will be affected for him one is the finger another one is the knees another one is the feet these are the three organs easily he gets affected he can't walk because the knees will be cut up but this man did not bother about what's outside he is suffering because inside he was convinced he is jesus inside he was convinced that this savior will save me that's all faith is all about hebrews 11:6 faith means to know that he is faith means that 
he always takes care those who trust him faith means only two things to know that he is he is not a dead one he is alive and he always grants those who trust in him and that's what this man had outside he knew on the road if he kneels down that is the end of him he can't get up anymore his knees will start to bleed and his condition will come bad towards he leaves to bother about what will happen to me he was only worried he was only focusing on what will i be with the lord i want him he is my savior before healed he was healed inside his thoughts the healing doesn't take place outside it takes place inside your growth takes place inside happiness is basically is an inside job that's why i am telling our life is from inside to out it is not from outside to in so when jesus came this man already knelt to before him no leper is supposed to meet jesus to that matter any human beings but he had the guts because he knew in jesus that's all if i only kneel before him enough rest it is up to him it's up to him what he wants to make me is not my job what i want to become is his job what i should be is his job not my job so he knelt before him and said lord it's up to you if you want to heal me if you heal me there is a purpose if you don't heal me there may be a purpose you do as you wish here i am that needs cuts outside world what others think of me as a leper if i go near jesus what will people do to me i don't care i know jesus is coming and my life is bloomed my life is flowered my life has found a new meaning so he went knelt down and said if you wish you touch me heal me and then pass me i will not allow you to go my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord